What's going on everybody? Tune the tie back at it with another YouTube video for the channel. Um, first things first, I do want to apologize to you guys. I have been MIA for a very long time now. It's been, I think, around 10, 11 months. I do apologize for that. A lot has been going on um, financial, relationship-wise, and also uh, uh, car-wise. So I had to take a moment away from the channel to uh, get myself together and also, you know, prepare myself for upcoming things that I have planned. So yeah, I do apologize once again, but um, I think it was, I think it was worth it. Um, first things first. First things first. Um, the big news of the channel. I got rid of the 335. I know. I am sorry. I apologize and. It hurts me as much as it hurts probably some of my subscribers right now. Um, I didn't want to let go of it at first. You know, I wanted to build the hell out of that car. I put a lot of work and time into that car. You know, that car is the reason why I have so much videos up right now, in which I met a lot of good people from it. But as it was getting older, you know, the car is getting a lot of issues that, well, you know, for the time and the amount that I had it for, it wasn't really making sense for me. I had to get rid of it, you know. I almost damn near had to do a whole engine swap on it. My valve tronic motor was messing up and we had to swap it from my friend's 535 N55. And because of that, you know, it, it just kept on breaking down after that. Um, I also had issues with uh, suspension left and right because it did have a few accidents. Suspension wise, I had issues with uh, on and off like random shutdowns from the engine it was just it was completely just a mess so the best sense for me at the time to just get rid of it and which i did i sold it for not the not a good price that i really wanted it to but it's it is what it is you know uh we did move into a whole different platform i don't know if you can tell already but we did move into a whole different platform i wanted something that was going to be one more faster and had a lot more performance than what I had on the 335 because I wanted to be something, I wanted something to be a lot quicker for the amount of money that I've been putting in. And I don't want to go through that whole money dump again with the 335. So um, I wanted something with power and then I also wanted something that was comfortable and also, you know, something convenient that I can like make it practical for my daily life. So I ended up going with a platform that not a lot of people have been doing that I've seen uh, of anything they've been going for the m model of this one but i decided to go with the b58 variant of it and i cannot lie i've been loving it ever since i got it um i did uh purchase this car back in november last year and so far has been amazing you know i uh, there's a lot of stuff that i've done so far to the car i will admit i <laughs> haven't been too keen on updating the channel with at least upgrades i've done to this one so far but i will moving forward um but I will, i'm going to show you guys yeah i'm going to show you guys how the car looked when i first purchased it down in atlanta um it's completely different from how it looks now and uh hopefully you guys you know will enjoy the build and enjoy the surprise So the Vuville car of the channel is my BMW 2018 X3 M40. As you can see, we have it in black. Uh, I believe the color code is Sapphire Black. But uh, yeah, this will be the build moving forward for the, the channel. I've done a couple things as you can see so far, but it's still plenty stock. Um, but yeah, let's, let's dive into it, man. So first things first, I did add uh, double slatted grills. Uh, I love these uh, these additions to the front. It makes it more aggressive, in my opinion. I didn't like the silver, so I ended up just getting rid of all the chrome that comes with the car on the M40 models. So I got rid of that. I also added some uh, plastic red V-bar to go on top of those. It gives it a nice pop on the front end. Um, the most obvious one, as you can tell right now, are, are the yellow DRLs. Uh, me and my friend Miguel from New York, I'll tag him down in the video below. 
uh, if you would like to get yours done as well. Uh, we did the DRLs. It was just a simple module that I ended up purchasing from uh, AliExpress, believe it or not. And um, for that, we had to take off the front bumper, remove the under tray, and do the, uh, the headlight removal to get access to the module. But aside from that, I also blacked out these, uh, I don't know what these are called. I think they're like front fangs or lower vent fangs, I believe. I'm not sure. They were a pain in the ass to get, I'm not gonna lie. But uh, we did uh, do those on both sides. Um, one thing I will say, the paint on this one, not very good compared to the F30. Uh, it was from Atlanta, so I'm not sure if the previous driver was just really shitty on uh, keeping it clean and whatnot, but we do have like a couple a couple paint uh, imperfections here all over the front bumper. That ate through the clear coat, so I'm gonna have to refinish that. Uh, I also added some little black eyelids to the front, make it a little bit more angrier. <laughs> um, as for the wheels, right? These are the 892M wheels that come on the X3M comp. I uh, got them custom made to be a 20 inch variant as they come from 21 inch from OEM. This car, I have plans to do a lot of racing with it, especially with drags. So I went with a little meaty setup. Um, tires I'm going with are Nitto NT triple five R2s. I believe I'm running a 275. 40 in the front with a 315 35 uh, in the back. Again, these are with the uh, the 892M rims. I love these pretty much. I can't I cannot go wrong with these at all. These do come with the M Sport brake calipers. These are the same ones that you see on the other M40 models, such as the M340, M240, and so forth. Uh, they do pretty good decent uh, braking i actually like them a lot my only downside that i say uh i just absolutely hate 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 the brake dust it's a lot um i will clean these wheels and then next day they're like dirty as hell as you can see that's how bad it is but <laughs> but um you know that's nothing uh, a simple brake pad change can't fix but yeah so that's the wheel setup so far uh, i'm absolutely loving it these tires are actually really grippy compared to the OEM, the OEM ones. I had on some bullshit Yokohama Advent All Sport, All Sports, <laughs> Yokohama Advent All Seasons, and they were just like really fucking like bad. I didn't like them whatsoever. But um, with these tires, I haven't slipped whatsoever. Of course, these are summer use only, so I wouldn't recommend using these in like winter or spring, like cold, cold, cold weather, or going off roading and shit. These are strictly just for summer use, and they've been perfect for what is made for. Um, I did tint the wi the windows. So window wise, I did a couple changes. Right, my front windshield is 15%. I know it's pretty fucking low. I did a 15% windshield front end. Um, as you can see, we did go to Beamers versus United. If you were there, shout out uh, Beamers United group. Um, for the driver's windows, we do have 5% on uh, both driver and passenger. Rear, it is a 20% from OEM, but I did add a 5% on top of it. So whatever calculation that ends up being to, it's pretty fucking dark. But yeah, that's uh, what I have from the rear windows all the way. For the mirrors, I just did some regular, pretty cheap uh, black M-style mirrors. They look pretty nice. I do want to change them out for carbon though in the future. Uh, going to the rear, uh, we haven't really done much at all. Body-wise, I haven't really touched anything. I haven't really done anything crazy, but we did just add some N quad exhaust tips and performance quad exhaust tips i am a little upset that my uh right side carbon part fell off but um that hurt a little bit as for the the rest of the rear i did have my m x3 logos up top right here but i ended up dropping them down here and going with a blacked out look 
it came uh, silver, I believe, from OEM. And yeah, that is the back side. It has a pretty good uh, trunk space. Let me show you guys right now. A lot more trunk space than the X3. I don't have much. I just have like, like my cleaning supplies and whatnot. I know it's not that pretty organized. But yeah, it has a lot of space. I fit when I was transporting my tires and rims. I was able to fit uh, four full-size tires and four full-size rims with the seats laid down. So that was a good plus for me. Uh, down below, as with any other X3 or utility truck, got your storage down there. Here's a little, another angle on the tires. They are pretty fucking meaty uh, on both sides have a lot of grip uh, coming around to this side same thing you know nothing really different that's pretty much the whole exterior of the car now uh, let's dive into the uh, inside now when you walk in uh, this is how the inside of the car looks I do have a 2018 so I do not have the M Sport wheel I know I am very disappointed with that. I really wanted that wheel, but you know, it, it is what it is. It's not a deal breaker for me. I could easily swap that out. Uh, this does come with ambient lighting all across. It's controlled with the iDrive. You got your strips here, here, uh, through the doors and down by the seat, the feet, which I do enjoy. As for the dashboard, I really enjoy this look. It's a full digital display. You can switch between sport, comfort, and eco. As you can see, pretty cool. I do have the Alpina mode uh, coded into it, so it does have the blue effect on the car. But uh, you can, if you don't like that, you can easily code that out. Uh, this is with iDrive 6. I love this iDrive, it's been an ease using it compared to the previous iDrive I had on the F30, which was I believe iDrive 3 or iDrive 4. But uh, this is way more uh, quick. It is a touch screen. That is my number one uh, love about this iDrive screen. I didn't have that on the F30, so this is pretty cool. Um, it does come. Now when you walk in, uh, this is how the inside of the car looks i do have a 2018 so i do not have the m sport wheel i know i am very disappointed with that i really wanted that wheel but you know it, it is what it is not a deal breaker for me um could easily swap that out uh this does come with ambient lighting all across it's controlled with the iDrive. you got your strips here here uh through the doors and down by the seat, the feet, which I do enjoy. Um, but yeah, for the logo, not, as for the dashboard, I mean, I'm sorry, let me mute my thing. As for the dashboard, as for the dashboard, I really enjoy this look. It's a full digital display. You can switch between sport, comfort and eco as you can see pretty cool i do have the alpina mode uh, coded into it so it does have the blue effect on the car but uh, you can, if you don't like that you can easily code that out uh this is with iDrive 6 I love this iDrive, it's been an ease using it compared to the previous iDrive I had on the F30, which was I believe iDrive 3 or iDrive 4. But uh, this is way more uh, quick. It is a touch screen, that is my number one uh, love about this iDrive screen. I didn't have that on the F30, so this is pretty cool. Um, it does come with CarPlay, you know. So that's pretty cool. Again, we coded that to be in the uh in the car because it doesn't come with full screen it comes with half car play from bmw reason why i do not know 
does come with CarPlay, you know. So that's pretty cool. Again, we coded that to be in the uh, in the car because it doesn't come with full screen. It comes with half CarPlay from BMW. Reason why I do not know, but um, yeah. Aside from that, the iDrive is pretty dope. Uh, you can control pretty much everything from here, as well as all your interior, exterior lights. Check your navigation, yada yada yada. The whole nine yards. You, you guys already know that. Now this X3, it comes with the. Uh, I don't know what this is called, but it's for the active cruise control, I believe. You can control your distance from the front uh, module that's in the front bumper. Uh, it does come with a heads up display, as you can see there. Um, it does have Harman Kardon. I did not have Harman Kardon on my last F30, so this sound system is pretty nice. Uh, I do and love. I do love this, especially on like long road trips. I do have installed my radar. We already took that from the F30, as well as my dash cam. I just don't have an SD card in there right now. And um, as for the back, it's pretty roomy. I have a lot of space. The seats are pretty comfortable, although I've heard that the non-ventilated seats have a better comfort. These are more like firm. So if I were to redo this, I'll probably go with the non-ventilated ones as they've been told to have better comfort. Um, for the rest of the car, it does have a full length moonroof, which I absolutely love. You know, the F30 did not have this. If anything, it just had this section of the moonroof, but this is fully, you know, all the way to the back. So the passengers can also see up top. The only uh, major difference I done to it was just add this LED strip, which is controlled by the iDrive. Uh, it's pretty okay during the day, but at night it shines best. As you can see, it matches the same colors as the rest of the car. So I, I, I really love that feature. And I am right now, as you can see, I'm six foot two, right? I fit pretty comfortably. I fit pretty comfortably in the car. I have a ton of headroom right now. Let me show you the back seats. They are also pretty comfortable as well. Now, this is how your back seat looks like. You have a ton of space as well. And same thing as the front you do have your Harman Kardon ambient lights as well and down here is pretty cool you can also charge you know your phones they gave you a port don't mind my hair that's from my husky <laughs> I have to clean the car but yeah you do have your ports you have heated seats let me show you guys heated seats and you're also your own uh, AC controls right here which is pretty dope Let's see if we can focus that. Yeah, your own AC controls, which is pretty dope. Uh, I added this little port. It doesn't really come with it, but uh, you could just buy that separately. Pretty cool. It does have a little uh, storage storage part in there. I don't know what you could possibly fit in there, but uh, it's pretty cool. Now, as for seating in this, uh, I again, I'm six foot two perfectly sit fine in this car right now my knees are touching right now on the seat but it's not unbearable i do have plenty of room still i can also lean back as you can see as this car was intended for if you have a family they will be pretty comfy again i'm on the tall side of guys oftentimes and now you're gonna have shorter people in the car and they're gonna have a lot more room but for any of you guys who are six foot two you don't gotta worry about this uh, this is pretty pretty neat and this is how the back seat looks like um very luxurious a lot more amenities than what i had in the f30 and yeah now for the performance wise of the car from factory it does come with 355 horsepower and i believe 370 torque uh, which is not slow at all that's already beating my 335 off the jump you know, it is all wheel drive, so you don't have to worry about it being a slouch off the line. We do have the B58 Gen 1 variation in here. So the opportunities for power, additional power, are endless. Uh, right now, I really, I haven't done any bolt-ons whatsoever. The only one I have is just a downpipe from Beamer Network down there. Uh, still got the OEM intake. 
same uh, engine cover, <laughs> nothing really at all, you know? What I will say as for the V58, at least in this car, I don't know if it's the same like in 340s or 5 Series, um, there's more room, a lot more room as compared to my 335. The like accessibility into like getting into things as well as the turbocharger and whatnot, it's a lot more spacious as compared to the M55. So that will be easier moving forward with maintenance and whatnot. Right now we are on a stage two plus tune from boot mod. Uh, right now, I believe it's pushing low 400s on E. We are running around upper 400s. So the stage two plus from boot mod comes with a 93 tune as well as E30, E50 and the M performance OEM tune. Uh, E50 is very aggressive. I tried it on a car. Super fucking aggressive. I love it. Uh, really wakes the car up. I will say that on E50, I am beating other M cars that are bone stock. Um, that's pretty crazy for just a downpipe and a tune. And for a heavy ass truck, like this is probably, I think, 4,200 pounds with me in a car and cargo shit. I would probably add up to 45 and for it to be beating M cars off the line and a quarter mile, it's stupid, you know? <laughs> it's a lot more that I want to do moving forward. Uh, I will be, you will be seeing this car in my shop with Jamal JE Performance. I linked him down below. Two, if you're in the Jersey area, uh, he's been touching everything on this car and making sure it's up to, up to date with everything that it needs as well from maintenance to performance. This will be the car of the channel. And I hope you guys enjoy what you've seen so far. Maybe you guys will want to get an X3 too. I absolutely recommend it. I am trying to get this car ready for MPAC coming in the Poconos this summer. So a lot of stuff is going to be going down. A lot of things, a lot of changes. And I also will be showing you guys through the channel everything that I do moving forward. So if you guys would like to upgrade your X3, or even if you don't have an X3, if you have an X4 or X5, pretty much anything as close uh, you could probably really do the same mods that i'm doing right now hope you guys enjoyed the video if you have any comments about this build have any comments about my previous build uh feel free to drop a comment down below please like and subscribe once again we're gonna be more active um a lot of things have been going on in the past year again so changes has happened a lot of things have moved into the past a lot of things are in my future now so I'm trying to be more consistent with you guys i will admit i kind of lost motivation as for my videos coming forward back when i had the 335 and looking back at it now it's pretty stupid because i can see the growth that's had that has happened with my videos so i want that to continue growing with this channel and you know, just keep building as much as we can go uh let me know if you guys have any questions or if you guys just want to say what's up i'm free and peace out guys